I have to go in 10 minutes. I literally have to get ready to go to therapy. I know there's a lot of guys in here. That was another reason why I didn't like streaming was because it would just be so many guys in here and like look look at like the type of shit dudes say, you know? I have a boner. What does a little Debbie smell like? Like come on, like can you just not be like ugh, it's like cringy, like just you like make like y'all need to just chill. You guys get too hyped up on here. And like and, and guys don't suck. That, like you can be cool. Like there's fools in here who are just like, oh, like you sneeze, bless you. And some fools in here are like, oh, like rub snot on my ass crack. Like, you know? Like and I'm not even feeding into it. Like, look at me. I'm on here. I look hurt. I'm not wearing makeup. I'm not, like, trying to be sexy. You know? I'm just, like, being mad normal. So it's like, I'm not asking for this attention. Even though I am streaming. But it's like, alright. You want to talk like a dirty, nasty pig? Then, like, go ahead. But, like, at least, like, donate some money. <laughs> you know? It's not, it's not like anything offends me, but it's just like, you, you like, just don't. <laughs> I don't care. If y'all want to talk like that, y'all can talk like that. But when it's like a room full of dudes and you guys are just on here, like, just like be mindful that you're like in a pack right now, you know? Be, yeah, be mindful that you're in a pack of, yeah, I don't care, I don't care what you guys say, if you guys want to talk like pigs, go ahead, but like I said, just be mindful you're in a group, be mindful that, you know, you can make somebody upset today with your words, it's like sometimes I open up my Instagram so I have this rule, you guys should try it. I have this rule that's like, don't go on your phone 30 minutes after you wake up or 30 minutes before you go to sleep. Um, because I would be waking up in the morning and you know, like I check my messages, like I'll check my messages, duh, right? Um, and motherfuckers will send me a dick pic at like 7 a.m. like just a nasty dick pic unsolicited which makes that it's just like when people send you a dick pic like just like that like it makes me feel like I'm being like flashed in the street it's crazy like you should you should go to jail for sending an unsolicited dick pic and then, yeah, so I see that, like, right in the morning. I'm just like, good morning, America. Like, flaccid penis dick pic. Like, that's not the way you start the day. And it, and it shapes my day. Like, it pisses me off all day. And you wonder why, like, women hate men. It's because you guys are sending dick pics at 7 in the morning. Like, I don't want to see or hear that can you imagine oh my god imagine you you're on your phone you get a message in your little thing you open it and it's just like the nastiest like just nastiest looking pussy like you have this shit's mangled it's pussy it's like it just looks nasty and imagine waking up and just seeing this musty ass nasty ass pussy and, like, you could, like, smell it through the phone, you know? You just get this, like, whiff, and you're just like, oh, my God, like, you know? Like, imagine waking up to that. Imagine getting mad, dirty, nasty pussy pictures. Like, the, I don't know, like, the ones that don't get you horny. Like, the, the pussy when you're just like, oh, my God, you know? That would ruin your day. I forgot where I was going with this. Oh, my God. See? If this dude in here is talking about he sent me a dick pic, 
Like, that puts into perspective how many dick pics I've been sent unsolicited dick pics. You know what I'm saying? Any any sense of money to make up for it, but I'm scarred. You know? I, I'm a, a woman who's been abused for a majority of her life, and you send me pictures of your dick at the sea in the morning? Like... You need to be going to therapy right now. If you're a man out there, another thing, because there's a lot of men in here, you guys need therapy. There's nothing wrong with going and getting some help. I've posted a list mad times. If you go and you listen, or you go on my Twitter and search like Crayshon and therapy, you'll see a list of cheap therapy in your, in your thing. Um... I mean, on Twitter, go look. There's cheap therapy in your city. Go get therapy, guys. Y'all are fucked. Especially the dude sending dick pics. Just go to therapy. It's all good. I will not judge. No one will judge. How does money fix it? Um, fix what? When you do something nasty and perverted online? My therapy is $31 um, a session. I do once a week. So $30, and that's good. Most of the time, therapy could be like $150, $200, $300. $300. I mean, you can buy yourself something to make you feel better, you know, like a candle, and like not think about the dick you just saw. So I feel like that's a way money can help and, you know, but anyways, yes, go get therapy, go search my name on Twitter and therapy and go look at the, the list is a Google doc with places you can get therapy in your city. Yeah, buy some weed and forget about it, the dick. 120 a month? Damn, yeah, I guess. Over a grand a year? Well, you know what? Mental health has no price. Mental health... I'd pay a million dollars to be mentally stable. You would too. Me and Brittany, yeah, we, we do our therapy. Every time we talk... And get together. It's like a therapy session. All right, I gotta go. I gotta get out of here. I'm gonna try and set up my. I'm gonna just fuck around later when I'm not on and try and like get some other little things popping off, and maybe try and hook up my PlayStation. But if I don't see you guys in between time, sh radio, my. Radio show with Brittany is on tonight at 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time live. So make sure you guys tune in. Thank you. All right, bye.